did you hear what Seymour did yesterday? Nothing. He did nothing. He was just being a cute dog. The most drama I felt this past week has been self-manufactured, and it's over stupid things. You know, I think you're gonna feel really guilty if you don't finish this book. Well, it's not gonna be the end of the world or anything. Yeah, but JK will never forgive you if you go to the wizarding world of Harry Potter and you're not up on your HP trivia. Wait, did she say something? She does have expectations for true fans. Well, it's not like I haven't read the books or anything. I mean, she always seems so chill on Twitter. Yeah, but I heard from an out of context quote that she said something like that. Hmm. I guess I never took JK for a fan shamer. The most drama that exists in my life is not mine, and I like it that way, most of the time. Sometimes there's secondary drama that really stresses me out. He did what? And getting rid of that drama is usually as easy as stepping out of the social media sphere back into my personal little bubble. And that's not to say I haven't had my fair share of drama in my life. I am human and I have relationships with other humans, so of course there's bound to be some drama. But I don't actively seek out drama in my personal relationships. If needed, I can throw some shade when I want to. But as I've gotten older, I've realized that I really don't like being that person. I want to use my energy for more productive uses, like being less angry and more happy. And the weirdest dramatic scenario is when we're unknowingly involved in drama. You do something, you think it's normal, someone gets mad at you, you don't realize they're mad at you, and then three months later you're at a group hang and one of your other friends informs you that there's drama between you and your other friend. And at that point you're like, okay, well, well, too much time has passed to talk about this weird situation I don't even know about. And can we talk about how stupid this other person is? Okay, that's not very nice, but did you just hear what they did? Hashtag triangulation. And what's the use for drama anyway? I've come to the conclusion that it's because as we've gotten more advanced as a society, we've become very boring. Because drama used to be useful. What does drama do? It causes stress. We needed to have a little bit of drama to get things done. Hey, Michelle, did you hear about Billy's toes falling off? I heard it's because he ate these weird berries. What? Oh my, I've eaten those berries and nothing happened to me. Are you sure it was the berries? Yeah, I heard it from Roy's brother's twin. Okay, that checks out. I must have an immunity that will save humanity from this devastating berry disease. But now we've got all our toes, thank you, Michelle. So we manufacture social drama because we're bored. Not to say your feelings aren't valid or anything, just in the grand scheme of things, the drama you're worried about probably doesn't matter. So how do you get a life with less drama, if you want that? Well, that comes down to communication. All you gotta do is make mutual agreements with your friends on what to get mad about. Hey, so are we cool to not talk for two months and then pick up right where we left off? Okay, sweet. And can I bring my boyfriend to things without asking or should I ask before everything? Oh, okay, you hate him. Okay, he won't come to anything. That's fine. Oh yeah, no, that's cool. All right, and then uh, last question. Should I bother inviting you to events that I know you're going to hate just to be nice? Or do you care? Okay. Perfect. Friendship. No drama. Now, this is impossible for all of the relationships you have, like your friend's uncle you always argue with on Facebook. So some quick tips are to block, hide, or unfriend those people you dramatically engage with. But if you do enjoy a quick combative interaction every once in a while, why not keep that aggravating butthole around? Thanks for joining me today. If you want to start some drama in the comments, please don't. Or do, I probably won't respond to it. I'll just leave vague emoji reactions like peaches and trees. So go right ahead. And I'll see all you drama queens next time. Seymour, did you hear about Millie's new collar? I heard that Rachel paid like double for the rhinestones. I mean, why? They're just gonna fall off. She's a dog.